On two days, the country will officially mark one of the darkest days in our history. November 22nd, 1963, President John F. Kennedy shot while riding in his motorcade through the streets of Dallas. And many don say that yeah. our country was never the same. Idaho and Senator Frank Church and his wife Bethine knew Kennedy well, and now 50 years later, Bethine remembers the man and his legacy. I remember them calling it uh, Camelot, and it, it seemed like that. Bethine Church remembers how her husband Frank befriended Senator Kennedy in the late 1950s. As a matter of fact, Senator Church gave the keynote address at the Democratic Convention in 1960, endorsing the young senator from Massachusetts. Both Kennedy and Johnson thought he was for them. And so when it turned out that he was for uh, Jack Kennedy, it, it really threw them in that he was furious. Later that night, Kennedy, having virtually locked up the nomination, ran out to the parking lot to thank Church. He leaned over me and told Frank he'd done a great job. President Kennedy returned the favor by traveling to Idaho on Church's behalf, only to get the scare of his life when he left. We got a plane for him, and the plane nearly crashed. And Ted, I mean, the president said afterwards, well, you nearly got me that time. What was he like socially oh, outside, the, outside the White House? When very he relaxed. Very, very relaxed. He didn't take things very seriously. The country was flying high as many shared Kennedy's optimism for the future. And then... Something has happened in the motorcade group. There's numerous people running up the hill. Something, I repeat, has happened in the motorcade route. Driving and hearing that he had been shot. And I had to drive over to the side for a minute. And then I rushed home and turned on TV. President Kennedy has been shot in Dallas, Texas. And just like that, it was over, all of it. I still feel horrible about it. As far as any talk of a conspiracy, Bethine Church wants no part of that conversation. And I always thought it was silly. Really? <laughs> yeah. Why? Oh, because it seemed so inappropriate. And it seemed, uh, it just seemed unbelievable that, that there was any conspiracy. Hmm. Hmm. Enjoyable afternoon with Bethany Church. I bet. So many stories. I love the story that Jack Kennedy, a senator at the time during the 60 convention, came out to the car afterwards that Frank Church had given the keynote address. And said thanks. And leaned into the car yeah. to thank him. How did Frank Church actually get the uh, nod for giving that speech? Because so many people in the Democratic Party were looking at Jack Kennedy, John Kennedy, as, as too young to run sure. for president. Oh, yeah. Where Lyndon Johnson was older, more mature, more experienced, blah, blah, blah. So they get a young junior senator from Idaho <laughs> who looks younger, sure. was younger than John Kennedy to give the keynote address. Quite an honor for Frank Church and Bethy.